have Talking about investing in some art. We have 23. Yeah, I heard you might have a good deal on a Danish Schutz. What do you think I'm doing here? I'm here to see you. Laudermilk is, uh, he's basically the biggest a hole in the world. A know it all, he's a misanthrope. Uh, he just he has no filter, can't keep his mouth shut. Uh, and he's a recovering alcoholic that runs uh, a substance abuse group. Uh, so it's this kind of juxtaposition of this guy who seems like the least likely candidate to be a shepherd. Uh, and he's got this group of kind of numbskulls and misfits that, uh, that become, they, they all try to take care of each other and keep each other sober. You're worried that you'll start drinking if you write? Or that your writing won't be very good because you're not drinking? I mean, it might be better. We don't know what sober Loudermilk is capable of. It could be amazing. It could be like the best book ever. You could win a Grammy. That character is so much fun to play. That it, just the freedom of being able to say anything. There's so many times in your career they, they want you to be likable, you know. It's like, well, you know, they would like the character. We want to make sure the character is likable. So it's fun to play a guy that it's that's off the table, you know, you're, you're going to make him unlikable and then dare the audience not to like him. It's a comedy, but there's something about the, uh, the subject matter that grounds it. I almost feel like we can get away with more because of the subject matter than feeling like the subject matter is something that we have to kind of go on tiptoe. We, we don't go on tip, you know, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to upset everybody, basically. Um, and that's kind of the fun of the, of the show. It's a million little things. A million little things. They're kind of polar opposites, which I, is really the only way I, I, I think I would have it. It doesn't seem to make sense to me to play, to do shoot two shows playing guys that are similar. But there's something about these two characters being uh, absolute opposites. Uh, you know, John Dixon on A Million Little Things, uh, which is new this year. Um, you know, he's a guy that, uh, that seems like he's got everything together. He's out there in the world. He's a successful real estate developer. He's got this amazing group of friends. Uh, and, uh, and he takes his own life. Seriously, if money's the reason you're still together, I'll write you a check tonight. Yeah? Life's too short. Just be happy. That was just last week. You know, the subject matter in the pilot uh, is... It, it, there's a lot of gravity to it, you know, because you're dealing with suicide. Uh, and you're dealing with a bunch of characters that are reacting to a recent suicide. Um, but the show isn't really about John uh, and why he kills himself. Uh, the show is, is, I think, more about uh, if you had this wonderful group of friends, um, what was it that what was it that kept you from reaching out? <laughs> you guys forget that this stay-at-home dad was once the lead singer in a band who opened up for Kings of Leon. Right of course, that was a decade ago, and you were so wasted that you forgot it. And the lyrics to the only decent song you guys had. <laughs> Do they have a decent song? You know, since then I've been working on my craft. Which means teaching guitar, guitar lessons. lessons. Hey, you guys suck. <laughs> and you still owe me for the guitar lesson this week for your daughter. The show really lives, like if, if John's death is the rock in the pond, you know, that, that falls out of nowhere, the show really lives in the waves and the ripples. Um, and it's funny. That's the thing is DJ the creator, this is his first uh, drama. Um, he's a comedy guy. He was a stand-up, you know. So uh, even though the bones of it deal with cancer and, you know, the suicide and the stories and infidelity, it's, it's written in a way that uh, the dialogue is really sharp. The, the group of friends, um, they love to take, uh, you know, they look, love to like knock each other down a peg. Um, it's funny, it reads like a comedy.